Morning Hornets! <clears throat> so today we're going to talk more about the media and all the bullshit. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know, but recently, you should know by now, but recently the president has decided that we as a nation are going to fund Iran for nuclear power. Iran is our enemy. When we were in Afghanistan and Iraq, those IEDs and those bombs that we were uncovering, the ones that were lucky enough to not go off and kill our brothers and sisters, had Iranian markings. Our president, the Muslim, his advisor is Iranian. Our allies, Israel, is at war with Iran. And we are now funding them for nuclear power. We're going to flood their country with money. Not only that, but we're breeding fucking sheep. While we're all bitching and crying about fucking rainbow flags and the Confederate flag and how my fucking pee-pee hurts and I'm offended, this is the shit that's going on. See, Obama knew exactly what to say when we were in a time of need. He knew. He knew what to say to get the people's vote. And that got him in the first year. I don't know what the fuck you people were thinking getting him in the second year. People aren't voting. The ones that are voting are uneducated. It's the fucking kids in college that don't have, don't have a fucking clue about politics and think, oh yeah, free school, yeah, sounds good to me, yep, yeah, I'll vote for you. Those are the people that are voting. It's not the fucking, it's not the citizens that actually know. We, we need to be educated before fucking voting. Because this is the shit we get put into. Now we have radical Islam in America. We have ISIS in America. We have a fucking raghead, cock-sucking motherfucker going into our recruiting fucking Marine Corps recruiting offices and shooting up four fucking Marines. That's what this country's come to, all because of uneducated voting. All because of the media breeding fucking sheep. United we stand, divided we fall, folks. And right now we are divided. We are more divided than we've ever been. We have the blacks, we have the whites. Now gay marriage is legal. Now we've got the gays and the straights. We don't have America anymore. We've got nothing to believe in. It's pretty much illegal to believe in God now. It's fucking Christians are the most fucking hated on now. I encourage all of you to join the Oath Keepers. If you've never heard of the Oath Keepers, we're your local militia. The Oath Keepers, when every citizen of the United States joins the military or law enforcement or anything like that, they give an oath. I gave it. To protect this country and its citizens against all threats, foreign and domestic. Domestic being in-house. Right now, we have a huge domestic threat. We have all these people worried about offending somebody else and nobody wants to speak up. Nobody wants to fucking say anything because they might get offended and now we're funding Iran with fucking shit tons of money for nuclear power and you know what's going to fucking happen? Because our president's preaching from the fucking Koran and saying it's a fucking peaceful religion. A peaceful religion that kills anybody that doesn't believe what they fucking believe. Radical Islam is in America. We, America is going to become Islam. It's going to fucking happen. Open your fucking eyes. Stop feeding into the fucking bullshit of dividing us up. You notice how I said when every American citizen joins the armed service. Not when every black man joins the armed service or black woman. Not when every gay man or lesbian joins. Not when every white man joins. But when every American citizen joins, they give an oath to protect this country. We are American citizens, people. It's not black. It's not white. It's not gay. It's not straight. We all bleed fucking red. And in this country, you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. But don't drive it down somebody else's throat. I believe in God. I don't tell you you need to believe in God. I know from personal experiences that he's real. And that's me. That's what I believe. That's what I choose to believe. If you're a Muslim, that's fine. 
That's fine. Don't drive it down my fucking throat. Go practice it in your own fucking country. That's what I say. Go back to your own goddamn country and practice it because you know what? We can't trust you motherfuckers. We've given you trust. We fucking gave you a chance. And look what you're doing. You're not fucking welcome here anymore. It's time to leave, motherfuckers. It's time to leave. If I see an ISIS flag in my state, you guarantee I'm blowing somebody's fucking head off. I fucking promise you that. I don't trust one of you cocksuckers anymore. Not fucking one of you. We've got this man, Saad, the Muslim that came over here and changed his fucking religion because he saw firsthand what Muslim is all about. It's all about fucking hate. It's all about believe what I believe or you fucking die. That's what the Muslim religion's about. And that's what our president is fucking preaching. We need to come together, folks. We need to come together as a fucking one nation, fucking united. We need to say the Pledge of Allegiance because you know what the Pledge of Allegiance was? It was pledging our allegiance to our country and our flag that our brothers and sisters put their lives on the line for. It was giving us something to believe in. It was giving us faith. And they took that out of the schools because they don't want the fucking kids having faith in their country anymore. They want to divide us up. United we stand. Divided we fall. We are fucking divided people. Pull your fucking heads out of your ass and stop worrying about fucking offending somebody. Load up. Buy ammo, load your fucking guns, and get fucking ready. We're taking America back, folks. It's time.